Welcome to our lesson on the cycling of matter and flow of energy in an ecosystem. An ecosystem is a complex system made up of living and non-living things. It could be a pond, a forest, or even your own backyard. The living parts of the ecosystem are plants, animals, fungi, and microorganisms, while the non-living parts are water, air, sunlight, and soil. Now, let's talk about the cycling of matter. Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space, like water, carbon, and nitrogen. In an ecosystem, matter is recycled continuously. For example, a plant takes in carbon dioxide from the air and uses it to make food through photosynthesis. When an animal eats the plant, it takes in the carbon and uses it to build its body. When the animal dies, bacteria and fungi break down the body and release the carbon back into the soil. Then, plants can use that carbon again. This is how matter cycles through an ecosystem. The other important part of an ecosystem is the flow of energy. Energy is the ability to do work, like running, jumping, or even thinking. In an ecosystem, energy comes from the sun. Plants use the energy from the sun to make food, and then animals eat the plants to get the energy. When the animals use the energy, they release heat energy into the environment, which eventually dissipates into space. This is why energy flows through an ecosystem and cannot be recycled like matter. It's also important to remember that ecosystems have boundaries. Understanding the boundaries of an ecosystem is important for understanding how matter and energy flow through it. For example, a pond ecosystem has a boundary that separates it from the land around it. The water, plants, animals, and microorganisms within the pond are part of the ecosystem, while the air and soil outside of the pond are not. Understanding the boundaries of an ecosystem is important for understanding how matter and energy flow through it. In summary, in an ecosystem, matter is recycled continuously, while energy flows through it. The sun provides energy, and plants use that energy to make food. Animals eat the plants and release heat energy back into the environment. And, ecosystems have boundaries that separate them from other ecosystems.